At the start of 2020, I set a focus for the year. I was going to eliminate unnecessary distractions. It became a really important aspect of the year for me because things pretty much got out of control very quickly last year. Simple reality is the more decisions that we have to make over the course of the day, over a period of time, the harder it becomes for us to make good choices. We become mentally fatigued. But not just mentally fatigued, we also become physically tired as a result of it. The economist Fred Hirsch refers to this as the tyranny of small decisions, or what psychologists like to call decision fatigue. Let me ask you a question. What do Mark Zuckerberg, Steve Jobs, and Barack Obama have in common? That's right, Mark Zuckerberg, Steve Jobs, and Barack Obama all wore basically the same thing each and every day. Mark Zuckerberg is known for his hooded sweatshirt. Steve Jobs is known for his black turtlenecks. Barack Obama, while he was president of the United States, chose to wear either a blue or a gray suit pretty much every day because he didn't want to have to make decisions about what he was going to wear. He wanted to eliminate those small decisions so they could focus their energy on the bigger decisions that they were going to make. In my quest of 2020 to eliminate unnecessary distractions, I decided to pare down my wardrobe as well. And since the fall, I've pretty much been wearing a hooded sweatshirt like this with a shirt like this underneath it and a pair of blue jeans. Over the summer, it was a pair of jeans and either a blue or a gray shirt. I've been doing that pretty much since last February or March kind of time frame. Again, I just want to eliminate unnecessary distractions. Back in college, I standardized the breakfast that I would eat. So for 35 years now, I've been having two pieces of toast with marmalade and a glass of orange juice for breakfast. So when I get up in the morning and take a shower, I don't have to make any decisions until after I've eaten breakfast. So we want to minimize the small decisions that we have to make so that we can make better, big decisions in our lives. When COVID showed up on the scene in March of 2020, we found ourselves constantly processing questions in our minds, questions that sometimes had no easy answers, questions that we really struggled to answer, questions that we're still not sure what the best answer is today. In any given circumstance, should we wear a mask? Can we get together with other people at the moment? And if so, what are the circumstances under which that is considered safe? Indoor dining, outdoor dining, so distance walking together. What do we do? How do we proceed with our relationships? Can we get together with our family for holidays? Thanksgiving, Christmas. What if we do get together with our parents and something happens to one of them? How guilty will we feel? What if we don't get together with them and something happens to one of them? How guilty will we feel for not being with them then during that difficult time? There are just so many questions that we're asking right now, and we don't have good answers. And so those questions continue to spin through our head day in, day out, and they're leaving us tired. They're leaving us fatigued. They're leaving us in need of rest and recovery. We are in an endless decision-making cycle right now, and it is exhausting us. We need to give ourselves permission right now to slow down, to shut out the 24-hour news cycle, to shut out the pressures of social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those things that put additional pressure on our lives to conform with those around us. Now, I'm not gonna give you a long list of things today. I just wanna give you two things. And the first is what's known as the two minute rule. When I say the two minute rule, what I mean is if you can get something done in two minutes or less, don't add it to your task list. Don't put it on your to-do list. Just do it right now. Make that an automatic yes. It might be taking out the trash, it might be unloading the dishwasher. It might be sending a quick email or making a quick phone call. But if it's going to take two minutes or less, just do it, get it out of the way, and then you don't have to think about it again. If it's a bigger task, use the two minute rule to get over procrastinating about doing it. If you wanna read a book, just open the book, make the decision to read one page. That will take two minutes. Maybe you'll end up reading more. If you want to work out, but you are procrastinating going, just put on your workout gear and go get into the car. That'll take about two minutes. Maybe you'll decide to drive to the gym 
Or maybe you just put on your running gear and you'll decide, well, now that I'm in it, I'll go out the front door and go for that run. If your goal is to journal more, just sit down, open your journal and write one sentence. And perhaps you then find that you want to take a little more time than two minutes to write just a little bit more. You see, the two minute rule is a great way to overcome procrastination. The second thing is this, just replenish your life. Replenish the energy that you have. Find activities that replenish your life. And I deliberately don't say replenish your mind or replenish your soul because we are created as whole and complete individuals. When the mind suffers, the body suffers. When the body suffers, the mind suffers. We're fully integrated. We can't separate those pieces out. So find things that replenish your life. Participate in something that energizes you. Take time to exercise. Set aside time to just sit there quietly in reflection on life. Pick up a good book, read it. Take some time to write. Maybe painting's your thing. Get out the paint brushes and the paint and spend a little time just creating some art. Maybe you just like to sit down and watch a good movie. Whatever it is, just do it. You need it and you deserve it. The reality is it's not good for us as human beings to be in a state of constant flux. We need routine. We need to find rhythms to our life. Times of high energy, yes, but times also for rest, relaxation, and recuperation. Decision fatigue is a real thing and we're all suffering from it right now. Take the time that you deserve and you do deserve it to replenish your life today.